there. She didn't squeal to Mrs. Grimley. Honest! Well, I guess someone wants to write a 20,000-word essay. Bring it on. I have a lot to say. <gasps> Whoa. Come to think of it, you better make it 30,000 words. Smart thinking, Ginger. You can turn it into a novella. Daddy knows tons of publishers in New York. Ms. Zorsky? You, Mrs. Grimley, are no Ms. Zorsky. <laughs> I'm out of here. This is ridiculous. There is no haunted train. There is no mad engineer. And you two chuckleheads are driving me nuts. And stop playing that harmonica. I'm not playing that harmonica. Wait, the flying guillotine. Was that the spiky hat thing you threw? <laughs> I'm sexy, I'm cute, I'm popular, Tim Boot, I said I'm bitchin', great hair, the boys all left to stare, I'm wanted, I'm hot. So predictable, what do you want? I gotta spell it out for you? I want a rematch. Some more private, just me kicking your ass. We having breakfast this morning? So, Summer told me what happened yesterday with Vulture. Ah, uh, yes, Seth kept a secret a whole 12 hours, must be a record. Yeah, you know, I just, I didn't want to worry you. Well, I'm proud of you for not fighting. I know it must have been hard. Oh, you have no idea. The guy's a total jackass. What are you doing? What are all these tools for? You want to see? Come on. A punching bag. Yeah, Sandy had it in the garage. She said I could use it. So you could train to fight him? No, I'm not going to fight him. I didn't yesterday, remember? Then what's it for? Therapy. OK. I just don't want him fighting. Johnny wanted to go after Volchuk again. But I talked him out of it. How's he doing? You mean about Casey? Well, she really hurt him. Well, Seth's going to the bait shop tonight. Why don't you invite Johnny? Take his mind off things. Sure. Now what about breakfast? Definitely, definitely. I'll meet you inside. I gotta clean up. Okay. All right.